It's my enormous pleasure to uh, introduce you to Joanna Collicutt, who is a psychologist and a priest in the Oxford Diocese. Um, I knew and have known uh, Joanna from uh, training at Cudston, where Joanna was one of my tutors and a wonderful lecturer on Christian spirituality and the formation of Christian character. Um, Joanna's going to introduce herself in a moment, but um, I just want to welcome her. Uh, and I'm going to ask her uh, to talk a little bit about what she's offering us in the Pusey Deanery this Lent. Uh, so welcome, Joanna. It's such an honour and a joy uh, to be working with you. Thank you, Colin, and thanks for the invitation to come and speak. Um, so Colin asked me to say a little bit about myself. I'm a... Um, originally a clinical psychologist, worked for a long time in the National Health Service in the area of neuropsychology and neurological rehabilitation. Um, and then about 15 years ago now, I was ordained um, as a priest and I've continued my interest in psychology um, and uh, have a particular interest in psychology of religion and the way that psychology can inform faith. And um, Alongside that, and increasingly, I have an interest in Christian spirituality. I came into it looking at the way uh, psychology can speak into our Christian journey. Uh, and then I became interested in the classic texts of Christian spirituality, having not been hugely familiar with the whole range of them before. Um, and that is now something that's enthusing me quite a lot. Thank you, Joanna. And I remember talking about enthusing. I remember being so deeply enthused by what you offered uh, the students in the ordinance at Cudston. Um, you always spoke and uh, it stayed with me incredibly anecdotally, very personally and movingly using your own experience and the experience of some of the people you'd worked with uh, to discuss big questions of spirituality and Christian character formation and discipleship um which has stayed with me um for all the, all the years in between so i'm so excited about what these talks um will offer us all um could you tell us a little bit about what you're focusing on uh, this lent in these talks well the talks come out of a book that i'm working on and the book comes out of teaching at cudston um on uh, themes in christian spirituality and uh, as I taught courses on the classic texts of Christian spirituality, um, I started to reflect on the fact that they seem to be linked by a particular theme. And that theme is something to do with a yearning or a longing mm. for God and particularly for the person of Christ. Is that why, Joanna, sorry to interrupt you, but I, I, you, the title of the talks that you sent me is So Longeth My Soul, Christian Spirituality at a Time of Loss. I love that idea of longing, um, that our spirituality is about longing and yearning. Is that where that comes from? It does. And um, I mean, a few years ago, I actually wrote a book which was, in the end, had a title about God's yearning and longing for us as well. Mm. Um, so I kind of see it as a two way thing. That's fascinating. Um, but that longing for Christ, I started to explore a bit more uh, in the context of the fact that Christ is with us and present with us in all sorts of ways and yet is not. Um, and so, you know, you talked about anecdotes. I might start with an anecdote, really, which is that when my niece was very was young, she asked me one day if God was dead. And I said, why do you ask that? And she said, because whenever we go to his house, he's not home. <laughs> and <laughs> I then did the sort of thing you, you do with, with young children and, and said, well, he is there really in a sort of way. Um, and then I was talking to her mother a bit later. And she said, you should have said he popped out to the shops. And, he'll be <laughs> and I started to think about actually, that is a kind of lighthearted, expression of something that's fundamental mm, to mm. where we are as the people of God. We're in a, a, a time between the resurrection and ascension of Christ and his coming again. Um, and we can think of that in terms of time and we can think or we can think of that in terms of the felt presence of Christ. Yeah. He is with us 
and yet he's not really with us. Um, and of course, you know, it's children who home in on these deep truths. So this was not a frivolous question that my niece asked. And I, I, I started, uh, and I've also for a while thought about the New Testament texts, especially the gospels, as having within them a kind of yearning for the Christ that people knew as a physical human being who walked this earth mm. and who had gone and who they longed to be reunited with. And of course that was true for the first Christians, but I started to see it actually through the whole spiritual tradition. Um, the way that these texts uh, and these spiritual practices are means of reaching out to Christ or of making Christ more vividly present or of remembering well uh, what it was like when he walked this earth or reaching heavenwards to him at the right hand of God and so on. And so in the book I'm writing, I've kind of linked these spiritual texts with the sorts of things we go through when we go through loss of a human person. It's... And we are looking and waiting to be reunited. That's and such a when C.S. Lewis wrote about Lent. his own yeah. loss, he talked yes. about it as Usually. a kind of suspense or waiting. Mm. And I think it's the waiting and the waiting well in the context of loss that I'm hoping to explore. It's absolutely beautifully um, uh, expressed there, Joanna, thank you. But also, um, wetting my appetite because we've all lived through very viscerally a period of loss, loss of confidence, loss of loved ones, loss of livelihood, loss of work, um, loss of income. Loss um, is very much in the fabric, in the air we breathe at the moment. Um, and I know that during Lent, uh, that loss will con come into spiritual focus for many people. So I'm hugely grateful to you for offering um, a course that I think is going to speak to us all very, very richly indeed. Thank you so much, Joanna, um, for this conversation uh, and for offering us So Longeth My Soul, Christian Spirituality at a Time of Loss. Um, I'm just going to say uh, uh, that these talks are going to be uh, uh, on Zoom uh, on Wednesday evenings at 7.30 all the way through Lent. So the first talk that Joanna is offering us uh, is not on Ash Wednesday, but the Wednesday following. So March the 9th, March the 16th, March the 23rd, March the 30th, and then we're going to skip a week. Uh, and Joanna's going to talk to us on the Wednesday of Holy Week, which is April the 13th. Uh, so um, those talks on Zoom at 7.30. Joanna, I can't wait. I'm looking forward to it enormously. Thank you so much for sharing your wisdom and your uh, experience of working uh, in these fields with us all uh, in the Pusey Deanery. Thank you.